Well, those students and seekers of truth, let us work on some problems that involves the movement of the robot, uh, or the car in this case. So we have a robot car that has wheels with radius of two inches. How many revolutions of the wheels are needed for the car to move forward 100 centimeters? And how many revolutions are would, would be needed if it moved forward 300 centimeters? So the first thing that we need to do here is to convert the units Right, because we have some units here, uh, the radius of the wheel is 2 inches, and that needs to be multiplied by uh, 2.54 centimeters, or 2.54 is the unit conversion from centimeters to inches, okay? and this turns out to be 5.08. Okay, so this is how, many, how big the wheel is. So let's say we have a wheel here, it's circular, that this radius here is 2 point, or sorry, 5.08 centimeters. 5.08 centimeters, okay? And what we need to figure out is the number of revolutions that are necessary for the wheel to go forward one centimeter. Well, if the wheel were to rotate forward one revolution, then the distance that it traveled Right, this distance right here that it, it traveled would be the same thing as the circumference of the wheel. So if it goes this far, then this distance here traveled would be the same thing as the circumference of the wheel. So one revolution, right, the distance that it traveled would give us um, the circumference of the wheel is 2 pi times the radius. So this would give us 10.16 pi centimeters, okay? So 10.16 pi is how far it would travel in one revolution. And now we want to figure, figure out how many revolutions are necessary to go 100 centimeters. Well, this isn't too difficult to find out. 100 centimeters multiplied by our conversion ratio of uh, one revolution per 10.16 pi centimeters. Okay. So working all of this out, we come up with an answer that is approximately 3.3, excuse me, 3.133 revolutions. Okay. So we want the wheel to, if we want the whole car to move forward 100 centimeters, this is how much it, how many revolutions it would take, a little bit more than three. Now, um, let's just extrapolate this. If we want the, the wheel to, or the, the car to move forward 300 centimeters, well, the same process, 300 centimeters multiplied by one over, one revolution per 10.16 pi centimeters. And working all of that out, we would get three times this number, right? So it would have to, we would get approximately 9.40. No, 9.399, excuse me. 9.399 revolutions. And there you have it, uh, the answer to those two questions. And now if we wanted to change this up and say this was 500 centimeters, we would just change it right here. Okay. Now in the second example, we take what we did in the previous problem and we generalize it in computer science, mathematics, engineering. We're not interested in just figuring a, solving one singular problem. We want to find out what is the method or what's the process, right? Engineers, scientists, mathematicians, we're all interested in processes, not just the one result. So we generalize it. What if a car has wheels of radius r inches and it needs to move a distance of d centimeters? And when I say generalize, what I'm really talking about here is to use variables, placeholders, instead of raw numbers. Derive a formula that will determine the the revolutions using the variable revs in terms of D and R. Okay, and again, the, the units are different, but um, so we, the first thing we need to do is convert the units. So the radius here, 
is in R inches, but we're good, we need to convert it into centimeters. So R inches, right, times, uh, we have, we said 2.54 centimeters per one inch. So what we end up with here is 2.54 R centimeters. Okay. All right. Next, we need to talk about uh, the distance that the wheel will travel. So let's say you have this, and maybe I should clarify this. Um, this we'll call this we'll call this like R two. Okay. So R two is the radius in centimeters which is equal to 2.54 times r. Well, again, one circumference or one rotation of the wheel, the car is going to move forward a distance of the circumference. So the circumference here is going to be 2 pi times the radius. And I'm using r2 here because uh, to indicate that it is r2 is the unit in centimeters, is the radius, rather, in centimeters. Okay. r is the radius in inches. All right. And so the number of revolutions that we needed to make, the number of revolutions necessary to make, we need to make, would be equal to the distance, which is in centimeters, multiplied by one revolution per 2 pi r2 times excuse me, we don't need to multiply by anything else. It's just 2 pi r2 because one revolution, and I'm just going to make sure I get my units here, one revolution will be this many centimeters forward. Okay. So working all of this out, what we will get is d divided by 2 pi r2. Okay. But r2 is really just equal to 2.54 r. So we'll make that substitution here and we'll get our final result. So this would be the distance over 2 pi times 2.54 r, right? because r2 is 2.54 times r. And we can simplify maybe into like one other thing, the big final step is that the number of revs that we need to turn would be equal to the distance over 2.54 times 2 is 5.08 pi times the radius in inches. Okay. So here you have it, um, kind of a big final formula for how to do this sort of conversion. As always, Keep working hard at these types of problems. Extrapolate and generalize whenever you can. That's how we start to think like a mathematician, a scientist, or an engineer. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.